Hi, thank you for watching Alaya Pilates at Home. I'm Mira. If you're looking for a workout, a class to strengthen the hips, this is a class for you. We're gonna work and train the muscles supporting the hip joint to give you a strong and stable pelvis. So let's go ahead and start the class. We're going to start lying on our back. Turn to the side of your body and lie on your back. Just try to make yourself feel more comfortable here and then go ahead and lift the knees up, one and the other one. And we're going to start with mobilizing our hip joint. So placing your hands on the top of the knees, pulling your thigh towards you and open the knee out, thigh out and rotating out. So we're just gonna pull in, out, away. And just breathing naturally as you mobilize the hip joint. In breath. And an exhale, nice and easy, gentle to start. One more time. And let's go the other direction. We pull away out, in and together. Again, in breath. And exhale. And one round. And exhale. Now let's do two more times here. And one last one. And now keep the right thigh with you, lower the left leg and straighten the leg down on the floor. You can actually press or place your hands underneath the back of your thigh. And I want you to just press your thigh towards your chest. We're just gonna inhale, compress the hip joint. Exhale, let it go and then place your thigh on the outside of the rib cage on the side of your body and then press your thigh towards your armpit in breath and exhale let it go lower the leg down bring the left leg in stretch your right leg out bring your thigh your left thigh to your chest so we inhale compress that hip joint as you reach the other leg out on the floor, exhale, let it go. And then place your thigh to the outside of your rib cage, to your armpit. Inhale, press your thigh to the side of your body. Exhale and let it go. Well done. Okay, now place your feet hip width distance apart, arms long by the side. We're going to start well, we're going to move on with some pelvic curl. So we're going to mobilize the pelvis, curl the pelvis as you press the lower back in with the abdominal and then roll all the way up to your bridging position. Here, you're going to fire up your hamstring and your glute muscle at the end. Press the big toes down and activate your inner thigh. Your chest is still nice and open. Exhale, we roll the spine down. Vertebrae by vertebrae, and we'll lift the pelvis at end, and we'll repeat. We exhale, we draw in the abdominal, we press the feet, lift the pelvis up, in breath. Exhale, we roll it down. Vertebrae by vertebrae, and release. And let's go two more times. Exhale, we just gonna mobilize the pelvis, mobilize the spine here, in breath. Exhale, roll it down and activating our hip extensors, which is our hamstrings and our glutes. Again, last one, exhale, we lift. Now we're gonna stay at the top here. I like you to release your bottom muscle, your glute. So bring the pelvis just off the floor, then curl the pelvis, so what we call it, posterior till the pelvis and lift the pelvis up fire the hip extensors and release and then curl press the hips up and release and then curl the pelvis press the hips up and release hinging down and then curling the pelvis up and release hinging and then curl the pelvis up so we are going to work a bit deeper into the hip extensors your hamstrings and your glutes are going to smile here and press up two more and then press up last one and then hold at the top now i like you to release your right glute only so hinge down you drop the right 
glute down, the right hip down, your knees are still parallel, and then squeeze the right glute up, come back to the bridging position, and then drop the left one, making sure your knees are still pointing forward, and then curl the pelvis, press up, right hip down, and then curl the pelvis, press up, left hip down, and then curl the pelvis, press up, right hip down, and then curl, press up, left hip down, and then curl, press up, two more times, and then curl, press up, and left hip down, curl, press up, I know you're gonna feel that burn now, so hang on there, one more time, and then press up, we stay, hold that bridging position, press the heels down, lift the toes and the feet up, hold the pelvis up there for five, four, three, two, one, lower the toes and the feet down, now press the toes down, lift the heels up, hold up there for five, four, three, two, one, well done, lower the heels down. Now we're gonna have a bit of a break, roll the spine down. Well done, well done. All right, now you're feeling a hit underneath the thigh, well done. All right, now lift the right leg up to tabletop. So here, hold that center. Extend the right leg forward. Flex the ankle, bring the leg up. Lower point, bend the knee and then lower the leg and again three more lift we extend dorsiflex leg up point leg down bend the knee and lower two more lift extend dorsiflex up point bend lower one more time lift we extend dorsiflex we point bend and lower, let's go to the other side, left leg, tabletop. We extend, dorsiflex up, point. We fold, and down, and lift. Extend, dorsiflex, lift, point, reach, bend, and lower. Again, lift, extend, flex, point, bring it in, and lower, last one, lift, we extend, we dorsiflex, we point, fold, and well done. Okay, lengthen the left leg down, hold the center tight, right leg up to tabletop, stretch the leg up to the ceiling, dorsiflex the foot. Okay, for our leg circle, keep the leg parallel across the body, and then swing it down, catch, hold. We exhale, one round. We inhale, one round. We exhale, one round. We inhale, one round. Exhale, last set, inhale. Last one, exhale, we hold. The other direction, out, down, across, in breath. And an exhale, and an in breath. And an exhale, and an in breath. And exhale, last set, in breath. And exhale, we stay, point, Bend the knee, take the foot down, bring the left foot in, stretch your right leg out, bring the left leg up to tabletop and then stretch it up to the ceiling, dorsiflex the foot. Let's go across the body first. We inhale, swing it down and catch. And then exhale, stay parallel, inhale. And exhale, and an in breath. And exhale, and an in breath. And exhale. Last set, in breath, and exhale, stay the other way, out, down, across, inhale, and again, in breath, and and in breath, exhale, last set, in breath, exhale, stay, point, bend the knee, take the foot down, bring the right foot in, separate your feet a little bit wider, towards the edge of the mat. Take your arms out to a T position, palms facing up, and now let's rotate from the waist. We're gonna drop the thigh towards the right, just to stretch that hip joint. Back to center, and then to the left, drop the legs to the left with control, exhale, center. 
drop it to the right, exhale, drop it to the left, exhale, one more each side, right, exhale, last one, left, exhale, walk your feet back too. Keep width distance apart, parallel position, and take your arms long by the side. Let's go to shoulder bridge prep here. So we're going to curl the pelvis, bring it up to the bridging position. Now stabilize the pelvis. Weight onto the left foot, take the right leg up to tabletop. Maintain that stability. We lower the foot down. We exhale, and then tap. Exhale, and tap. Exhale, and tap. Exhale, two more tap. Last one tap. Bring the foot back. Reestablish the pelvis position. Press the right foot down and the left leg comes up to tabletop. And then we lower. We exhale. We tap. We exhale. We tap. And tap. Two more set. Last set. We hold. Take the foot down, lift the pelvis up, and go ahead and roll the spine back down to the floor. Well done, and turn your body towards me, and we're going to lie on the side. So bottom arm is long, bending the knees. Now have your feet aligned with the spine. You can take the top hand in front of you. I like you to lift the waist up so your abdominal muscle is active. Stabilize the pelvis. We're going to go on to our clam. We open the thigh and then we close. We open two and then we close. So we're working our external rotators here. And then out and then down. And then out and then down. Three more and down. Two. Last. Okay, extend the leg long, bring the bottom knee forward and the heel align with the knee. Now I'd like you to really reach the hip away, lift the leg up, the top leg up, relax the foot. Now I want you to lift up, keep the pelvis stable. And two, down. And three, so we're working our glute medius and glute minimus here for our hip uh, abductors, abductors, and a lift and then lift, three more times, lift, last one, lift, we hold, we take the leg forward, hip flexion, up, down, and back, we take it forward, up, down, and back, and three, up, and back, and a four, up, and back, and a five, and two more here, and last one here. All right, we take the leg forward, hold that. We're going to lift up a little bit and then we're going to drop it down. And two, and three, and four, and five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift back. And done, well done. Straighten the bottom leg, take the top leg over, open the thigh so your top leg is in external rotation. So you push the thigh away, straighten the bottom leg, and then we're gonna dorsiflex the foot and then we lift up. So we're working our adductors here, two, and then three, and four, and five, and six, seven, eight nine well done ten okay help yourself up come up and then just bend the bottom knee underneath Ooh, we're going to stretch that right glute the top glute first and now just gently press the thigh down and then lean forward okay stay there you're going to feel the stretch on that working hip that we just did which is my right glute Exhale, keep the spine long as you lean your body forward. And then release. Okay, let's go to the other side. Bottom arm is long. Let's go to our clam. Legs together. 
feet aligned with the spine. And let's go to our clam, lift the bottom waist and we open. We close, two, we close, three, four, five, six. Stabilize the pelvis here. Let's do one more. Well done. Extend the top leg long, bring the bottom leg forward. Again, relax the foot and we'll lift. Stabilize the pelvis. We're going to reach the leg away from the hip joint. And lengthen, lift, and lift, and lift, and lift. Three more times. Two, one. We take the leg forward, we take it up, we take it down, we bring it back and forward, up and back, forward, up and back, forward, up and back, forward, up. Let's go two more here, forward, up and back. Last one, up and back. Let's take the leg forward again. Take it up. Let's drop it down. Down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Add the ten, ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Take it up and bring it back and release straight in the bottom leg take the top leg over externally rotate your thigh Just reach the bottom leg away dorsiflex the ankle left lift and two and three and four and five and six seven eight nine well done, 10. Okay, help yourself up. Come up, and then we're gonna bend the bottom knee. Stake the top leg on top. We're gonna feel that heat underneath that glute, the working glute. You're gonna feel so good after this class. Lean forward. You're going to feel that hip joint is, is so supported and stable. And just lean forward to stretch the glute, keeping the spine long. In breath. Exhale. One more. Exhale. That's all we have for this class. Thank you for joining me. And I wish you a great day. Congratulations on completing the class. Well done. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to look and feel your absolute best. If you enjoyed this video, Click the first link in the comments and sign up. I will instantly send you my favorite Pilates for total strong body members only workout. This workout will open, stretch and strengthen your entire body. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe so you don't miss any of my free videos. See you in the next class.